Hello, Better Lesson Master Teacher Yasmin here talking to you about how I changed this lesson this year. I wanted to use fact families again. I found that they were very useful last year for pushing the conversation for the rules for dividing rational numbers. Uh, but this year I've also made more of a concerted effort to get students writing and talking about the rules amongst themselves. So for this particular class, I chose to start with a guided task where students had a free write for about two to three minutes, the rules for multiplying rational numbers, which we had discussed the previous weeks. Um, we talked about the rules for multiplying a negative times a negative, a negative times a positive, et cetera, et cetera. And I wanted them to connect to their prior knowledge at the beginning so that they could connect those rules at the end with dividing rational numbers to note that they are the same rule. So this is what it looks like at the beginning followed by the dive into the fact families. Now, in this part worksheet, which I'm attaching to this reflection, you'll notice that I broke down the relationship a lot better. Uh, the organization of the numbers is clear. They're not blanks, but instead tables. I have students create their own uh, together, then we talk about it. Um, each time, I ask them to analyze what's happening with the signs. For example, in this section, I ask them to answer these questions with their neighbors. What happens when you divide a negative by a positive um, and a negative by a negative? We share out the discussion when they are done talking. So for class, the class notes section in particular, there's more of students conferencing with students and then sharing out with me uh, rather than me just instructing for 10 to 15 minutes on the introduction to the lesson. This is definitely a time for them to talk to each other. I push them to use the right vocabulary. So rather than calling them number, I ask them to be specific about it being an integer or a rational number. Uh, so this is a great opportunity to take a good 10 to 15 minutes uh, to make sure that they're using that vocabulary and going through this gradually. Hope that's helpful. Thank you.